Hello Automators, today we're setting up the new Zoo's Q sensor. This device works with Z-Wave hubs and functions as a multi-sensor with light, motion, humidity, and temperature detecting capabilities. It also works as a Z-Wave repeater. I'm going to show you how to set the Q sensor up with your SmartThings hub. We'll be installing a custom device handler. Then I'll go over some of the settings this allows access to and what they can do for you. First, we need to go to the Zoo's website and fetch the code we'll need. We'll include a link in the description for you to follow and grab it. Copy all that code and we can go to account.smartthings.com to perform the install. Click My Device Handlers. Create New Handler. Click From Code and paste your copied code into the box. Hit Create, then Save, then hit Publish for Me. From here, go into your device and you should find the Zoo's Q sensor. But it may be listed as a Z Wave Motion and Temp sensor, and we need to change that. Select your sensor and hit Edit. Under Type, select Zoo's Q sensor and hit Update. Next, we need to power our sensor. The Q sensor can operate on two CR123A batteries and will last for about a year, or you can use the provided USB power cable and adapter. It's very important that you don't set up with USB power then switch to batteries. If set up with USB, the sensor will keep its Z-Wave radio on at all times, which will drain your batteries faster than I eat a bag of chips. And I have a serious chip problem. Let's finish pairing. Hit the Add Device button in the SmartThings app. Hit Scan Nearby. You can manually start the pairing process by clicking the Z-Wave button three times rapidly. The light will blink to let you know you've done this properly and stop blinking once paired. Once paired, hit Edit to give your sensor a creative nickname like Roger, or Captain Winkles, or Zuzi Q, and hit Done to save. The settings available may seem overwhelming at first, but it allows for excellent customization to meet your smart home's needs. The first option is Motion Sensitivity. This controls how easily a movement will trigger your motion sensor. Next we have the Motion Clear Time. This controls how long it takes for your sensor to re-trigger after detecting motion. We also have the option to turn on the onboard LED when motion is detected if you need feedback from the sensor itself. You can change how often the sensor will send a trip alert for a motion. You can also now set the temperature and humidity thresholds required for the device to send a report. And finally, we have the Lux threshold, which will allow you to customize the change in light required to trigger a report. Marvel at the options you have provided yourself, and beam with pride at your accomplishment. You want more sensor videos? Check this playlist. Thanks for watching. See you next time.